Your vehicle monitors the state of charge during normal operation and displays this information on the left side of the instrument cluster similar to a gas gauge. If the state of charge reaches certain thresholds, escalating low charge messages will be displayed on the cluster. The charge low message will be displayed for 5 seconds when the power level remaining in the battery reaches 17%. The charge low message will remain on constantly when the state of charge level reaches 11% until the condition changes. A charge low limited power mode using a turtle will be displayed when the power level in the battery reaches the 5% level. And will start flashing at 0% until conditions change. Let's take a little time to talk about charging the high voltage battery in your new Fiat 500e. For the most convenient charging, Fiat recommends that a 240 volt level 2 charging station be installed at your residence. The Level 2 unit and installation service is available for purchase at your authorized dealership. Charge time using Level 2 is approximately 4 hours, and with Level 2 charging, about 10 miles of range is restored after just 30 minutes of charging. Now, your vehicle does come equipped with a standard AC 120 volt charge cord for what we call Level 1 charging. It plugs into any standard AC grounded outlet and will recharge a fully drained high voltage battery in approximately 23 hours. You'll very seldom fully drain the battery before recharging though, so recharge time should be considerably shorter. About 10 miles of range is restored after 3 hours of level 1 charging. Let's go through the charging process using the standard equipment charge cord. To access the charge cord, lift the rear cargo cover and remove the charging cord from the storage bin. After plugging the cord into a standard 120 volt AC outlet, the control panel completes a self-diagnostic. After a few seconds, all lights turn green, indicating that the charger is ready to be connected to the charge inlet on the vehicle, located behind an access door in the right rear fender. If an error occurs, the upper two lights will turn red. To charge the high voltage battery, put the vehicle in park and turn the ignition to the off position. Go ahead and remove the charge cord from its storage bin. Uncoil the entire length of the charge cord. Plug the charge cord into a properly grounded, standard 120 volt AC outlet. It is recommended that the charge cord is connected to an AC outlet on a circuit which is not electrically loaded by other devices. Please note that extension cords may not be used. Now you can plug in the coupler end of the charge cord into the vehicle's charge inlet. Push the connector in firmly until it is completely engaged. If the coupler is not completely engaged, the vehicle may not charge. The vehicle will initiate the charging cycle automatically when all the conditions are satisfied. The 500E utilizes charge indicator lights on the dashboard to quickly identify the battery state of charge while the vehicle is being charged. Each stage or light represents the percent of battery charge. One blinking amber light means that the charge is between 0 to 20% complete, one solid and one blinking light indicates 21 to 40% complete, and so on. All five lights will be solid for 10 minutes once charging is complete, then turn off to conserve energy. When charging is complete, the vehicle will automatically turn off charging and go to sleep to conserve energy. When it is time to drive, or the vehicle needs to be unplugged, remove the connector by pushing the button on the connector handle, pull firmly to remove it from the vehicle's charge inlet. A quick note, the charge inlet access door will lock when the driver's door is locked. You can safely unplug your car at any time during the charging cycle. Please refer to the instruction manuals on the owner's information DVD for complete details and other important safety information.